So I printed out a lot of these little squares and I'm gluing them on to the hull parts. Now I'm not gluing them on exactly to the millimeter, I'm just gluing them in strategic places and also on the other opposite side, connecting side. The only thing I make sure is that I don't overlap once connected. So this should align the parts. Next, I'm going to put a bead of glue all around this part. And I don't put any more glue on the alignment tabs. Uh, unfortunately, the glue I use is so quick in grabbing on that I tried the same trick on the cover of the hull. And as you can see, it's not very nice connection because the glue grabbed onto the connecting tabs before I could position it properly, hull part against hull part, or cover part against cover part in this case. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to dry fit this together. And I can't do that with one hand, but I'm filming anyway. Um, leave a small gap, then put the glue bead on and press it together. At least that's the idea. So at the moment it's all fitting together dry. There's no glue in there yet. And it's a bit exaggerated by the camera, but the seam is actually closed and, or close enough. You see it's become one part. And on the inside, you can see all the tabs. So next I'm going to slightly open this gap, leaving the tabs hanging on put a bead of glue in on one side and press it together again. So now the connection is made and once it was settled, I smoothed out all the excessive glue with my finger, which is not the wise, the wise thing to do, but I do so anyway. Um, and then I sprayed on the accelerator and you can see it foams up. So after 24 hours, yes, it is one second glue, but still after 24 hours and everything is really dry and hardened out, I will take a piece of sandpaper and clean it up. Well, and that's how we attach all the parts together. At least that's what I hope I will do. So I have the next part ready for gluing. All the parts attached gap made and I noticed on the previous gluing of this part that the glue was dripping down. This of course makes sense because glue never drips up. Okay. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to turn this, this is the position I want to glue it in, but I'm going to put the glue on the upper part now. So during gluing, during at uh, putting the glue on, I'm going to turn it around. Once the glue is put on, I put it back up the right way around like this, and then I'll force it down. In the meantime, I'm printing a new cowl parts because the old, because the old cowl, the way I glued that is just not the way I want it. That's just me. And it's always nice to have this 3D printer handy. So I printed off 50 of these little squares and <laughs> I don't have enough. I thought that would be way overkill, but actually I am missing one, two, three, four, five to finish this side. And then I still need one, two, three, four, five, six. So a total of 11 more. So obviously you need 61, which surprises me, but that's it. Anyway, that's enough for this clip. Joining the last two together, the last sections together, won't be too much different than the other sections you've seen. Um, and I'm going to glue on these strips to align the cowl with the 
uh, with the hull. And I leave a gap here because I'm going to have some way of attaching the cowl. I don't know what yet. I'm working on it, it's, I'm working on it as we go. Um, the length of this strip is 170 millimeters, which is 17,254th, so 17,000th scrap, 254 inch for all you Americans. And I leave a gap here of about 20 millimeters, just a little less, so that will be three quarters of an inch. And something attachy will be happening there a little later. I'll get back to you on that. <laughs> 